Welcome back. I'm going to be doing another tracing paper tutorial where I flip through an art book right here and show you how the masters used certain techniques within their compositions. So the easiest ones to point out are like figure ground relationship, diagonals, repeating diagonals, arabesques, things like that. So we've got this book of the Musée d'Orsay. That's a museum over in Paris and it's a really nice one. Unfortunately, they don't let you take pictures, so I don't have anything to remember it by other than this book and another souvenir book that I bought there. So the first one is going to be Bougereau's, Bougereau's Venus. It's the birth of Venus painting. And I'm gonna show you which techniques I can point out just with the uh, pencil and tracing paper. So let's see here. We've got an arabesque running up here swooping around the background and across her and then across these angels in the air. I've also got this arabesque right here. I'm gonna adjust these so you can probably see a little better. There we go. All right, so this arabesque runs up here, swoops around. See the law of continuity connects all of these limbs and elements. And then let's see where it goes. It goes kind of up this way and then around those. So we'll just lightly draw in this one. And we've got a contraposto pose in her, which means she's on one leg, all the weight's on one leg and her body's shifting. So the tilt of her hips is going this way and then the tilt of her shoulders is going this way. So that's the contraposto pose. I've also got a lot of repeating diagonals. This arm, let's just see if anything lines up with that. And we'll just follow it across the leg right there. And we'll just follow it across the composition. This wing. Okay. We're just looking for repeating diagonals. So one's in the arm over here in the shadows. His body right here. So this is gamut and it creates a repetition and unity across the composition. There's plenty more where that comes from, different diagonals and such but I won't go too deep into that. Uh, we wanna check the figure ground relationship. That's a really important technique to always incorporate into your art. So if we squint our eyes, we can see that she's definitely popping out against the background. So we can just draw a line around her just to ensure that we have enough contrast. See, it, it loses contrast right by her foot, or her leg here, which is fine because the rest of her body is easily identified. And that kind of allows her to be part of the background as well. Enough contrast right here by her hips. And it kind of fades out a little bit up here. And we're squinting, so just make sure you squint and you can see he's got a nice highlight on the arm here that allows her to pop out. Definitely around this arm, this arm, and around her body there. So that's a good figure ground relationship right there. We've also got everybody's gazing direction, bringing more attention to her. So. This guy's looking this way, she's looking this way, he's looking this way, this guy's looking up at her, this girl's looking that way, this kid's looking that way. The only one that's looking away are the angels and then this little girl here. But yeah, that's that one. Let me switch over to the next one. Okay, this one has a nice, really obvious arabesque going down the, the woman's body. So to incorporate an arabesque in the woman's body is an easy way to incorporate beauty in the pose. So we go down like this. And then we also have one kind of curving around this way, around her toes. We've got an exit here that creates depth in the composition. 
And while we're traveling with our eyes, we can see this creeper here up in the upper left corner, which is spying on the, the woman taking a bath. So this is the creeper. So we definitely have good FGR figure ground relationship, the light figure on a dark background. And let's see if we lose contrast anywhere. Squint. And the only place we lose contrast is right around this area here where it meets the background, which is good. And then her hair definitely could be more defined in her hair. Now the actual painting could be a lot more defined, but this reproduction is definitely missing the shape of her head. So we'll just put an X there. We're missing that part. And we can look at repeating diagonals. So we've got one in the cloth, this one, this leg is repeating and then the cloth back here is repeating. So that's our basic gamut. Looks like this diagonal is repeating up here in this branch. It could be off a little bit, but looks like it. That's that one. Sorry for any noise. I'm in this busy park in Hawaii and it's just full of people going to the beach and having barbecues and stuff. All right, so here we have another one. Thank you. 